Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siobhan. Today I am sharing with you how to make um, box stickers for your planner without a Cricut machine. So these were made with Canva and these were hand cut. So I do the box stickers because they're easier to cut. Um, so you can see it peels off just as easy as if these were cut with a Cricut machine. And these are just some of the ones that I made for myself. I'm just showing you so I can take them with me keep them in my planner and use them while I'm out the cut may be a little bit off sometimes but you kind of get the idea um, so these are just some of the ones that I made so what you will need is a computer obviously um, Canva and you will need sticker paper I will link one in the description that I use. Nothing fancy. You can just search it on Amazon. An exacto knife and maybe like a cut in um, something to put your sticker on to cut it when you're using your exacto knife. I have like this cut in mat, but if you don't have that, you can use like um, a cardboard or a book, an old book, something sturdy. All right. So first, we're going to create design. So. When we do the stickers, it's gonna be printed on eight and a half by 11 paper um, because that's the size of the sticker paper that it comes in. So um, when you go to Canva, you're gonna go up to create a design and then you're gonna look for anything that's like eight and a half by 11. Um, so you can see there's different things here. If you hover over them, you will see the dimensions come up to the side. So this is like media kit. It doesn't really matter what you click on because you're basically going to create your own um, setup on the page. So I just clicked on one that said food and drink menu. So if you click on the top, I'm gonna change this to sticker. This way when I, I can't even see. This way when I download it, I can search it in my computer, um, in my computer files, so I can just write stickers. All right, so we start off with a blank canvas, and then we're gonna go to elements on the left, and when we're in elements, we're, we want to look for grids. So when we go to grids, you're going to click on see all. So basically, this will determine the size of the stickers you want. So the way how I did, I did my stickers two separate ways. I have like a semi big one and a small one so it, this part is going to be up to you as far as the size so you're going to keep scrolling because we need to find one where there are quite a few um boxes on the paper because remember we're filling up a big eight and a half by 11 and the sizes of the sticker is going to be determined by the grid so i'm scrolling 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 all the way till i see something that looks like this this is the smallest one they have so this one has eight so there's um four and four so one box size is about i'm not sure because i can't measure it but this is the one that i use if let's say if you wanted it to be smaller you'll just click on it to highlight it and when these little dots come up you take it and you kind of just make it a little bit smaller then you can still drag and drop your photos in the boxes so this is just for um the purpose of this video i'm going to keep it at the regular size that it came up to and then when you're making yours, if you want to make it a little bit smaller, um, you can do like this. And what I also did was um, I had some that was a little smaller. I copied the same size grid and then I added it again. I mean, you can play around with it and, you know, as you get comfortable, you can do things like this where you can get more on a sheet. So all I did was copy this, pasted it, and put it next to it because it's already the size that I need. And then you could just copy it again, paste it, and fill it in at the bottom um, to just basically kind of get a little bit more on the paper and to get smaller boxes. And you can copy again, paste it, and 
you can play around with it until you get the perfect size where you don't have this little area on the bottom or what you can do you can cover this up with like a box on the side so we're not going to get too technical we're just going to keep it the regular way how it is just for the purpose of making this video but i have made stickers where i've actually made the grid box sm smaller copied it and filled up the the paper just like this so i'm just going to put it back to how it was and just make it for the purpose of this video the regular size okay there we are so this is our grid that we're working with and now we're going to pop some photos in so you can go to either upload to upload pictures on your computer from your computer if you have that or you can click on the photo option so let's say you found um you have your own pictures that you want to create stickers you could do like um if you have like pictures in your phone family pictures whatever you choose you can upload it you'll click on upload media and you're going to click on upload from device and then you find your pictures wherever they are on the computer but for this video we're just going to use photos let's just say we want to make stickers for a particular theme um let's see what could we talk about um all right so let's just say we want to do summer stickers so type in summer and you can see what comes up so these are all the options that comes up and then you can scroll and look for through anything that you want so let's just say we're going to keep this theme summer which is our photo like i said you can you can type anything um let's say if you want to do food if you want to make food stickers it doesn't matter anything you want you can type it in and search your photos and then you work with that all right so summer theme i like this one so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to take this photo and i'm going to drag and drop it into the first box so what you want to do when you're doing that is um when you drag the photo over obviously the way how this box is sort of like a rectangle um, going up and down and this is kind of a wide photo so if you double click on it you can highlight the whole picture and then you can scroll it to the left and scroll it to the right so i'm putting it all the way to the left and then i'm going to drag it again and then this time I, I want the right side of the photo to show you can play around with this however you want so this is just to show you some ideas so i like this one i'm going to keep my um my leaves the same you know like a, a little theme and i'm gonna scroll and i'm gonna keep looking for more pictures i like this one as well so i'm gonna drag it over here so the main thing is drag and drop okay all right so there's some more yellow here i'm gonna use this one drag it here i notice that it's not centered i want to get captured this part of it so i drag it over and then oh let's see um let's keep scrolling well, I have this beach setting. I'm going to drag that one here, but I want to see more of the coconut and the um, pineapple. So I drag it over and then we want to add more pictures. So I like that. I'm just going to randomly fill it up and then we will talk about the next steps. So this is my stickers that I am going to um, be cutting. So once I'm done, I labeled it sticker from the beginning. We're going to download our file. Um, so you're going to click on the download, which is the arrow. You can do PDF print or you could also do PNG high quality. So I recommend either PNG or PDF print. Um, you can do SVG if you want to move on further to putting this up in like Canva. 
not Canva, um, Cricut or maybe Silhouette. But for me, I'm doing this video to show you without a cutting machine. So I'm going to do a PDF print. It's going to print, it's going to be a high quality image. So click on download and then we wait for that to download. All right, so this is our image and it's time to print. So I have an HP NV printer and when, I, when I'm printing, I'm pretty sure this is an option for most printers. Make sure your paper size is eight and a half by 11 because that's the size of your sticker. Or if you have a different size um, paper, you would have had to adjust it accordingly in Canva before you created your grid. So um, what I wanna make sure is that these pictures print on the best quality. So I can, I have an option to change the media and quality. I put it on best and then I press print. All right, so it's printed and this is how beautiful it came out. Very high quality, nice and colorful. And this is what it looks like. So because I like to put these in my planner, I want to make sure that um, they are going to be small sizes that I can carry around with me. So I'm going to use my cutting machine to cut this in half and then cut this also in half. so this is the almost finished product after I cut it what I did was I trimmed the edges a little bit because it doesn't make any sense for us to cut it again when I can just cut it as close as possible with my trimmer and so I have these four sheets that I can stick into my planner or my sticker album because they're small enough so now it's time to cut our stickers so this is what we have we're gonna start with this one you're gonna get a ruler and then you're gonna have your X-Acto knife. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so basically what you want to do is you want to keep it steady on the paper. And being that this is just four stickers, this is going to be an easy cut. So we're gonna cut this way and we're gonna cut that way. All right, so we're not gonna do a full cut where we cut through it. So with the X-Acto knife, Line up your ruler on the sticker and you're going to perform a cut. See the back is still intact. But we've actually cut it. Sorry, I'm trying to give you close-ups. But we've actually cut it, but the back is still intact. And then you're going to do that for this direction. All right, so this is completed. Let's say I'm out, I have my stickers or it's planning time. I have a box sticker that is cut. So it's just a light pressure, but enough to cut through the paper. So use your ruler as guide. One line down and one going across. Remember the edges are already taken care of because we used our cutting machine and this is how it is. This is your sticker. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. This is your sticker. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna finish cut the rest, but I hope you get the gist of it. It's pretty simple. So these are, yes, they're kind of big, but like I said, resize it in Canva. Look how messed up I did. See, I'm all the way over there. It doesn't matter. I can always trim it up with the scissors, but um, try to keep your knife flush on the ruler so that won't happen. 
and you can always resize in Canva. See that I messed up right here, but it's fine. And then we have one more to cut. Ruler, flush, and we have our sticker. Sometimes I cut a little bit. Sometimes I cut a little bit hard where it goes through, but it doesn't really. It's not a big deal. Sticker. Let's say we wanted to do like a circle. You'll have to do that by hand, obviously. Or if you had like some an oval, you can use the trace. But that's basically how the stickers are made. I hope this video was helpful. Keep in mind that you can resize your um, you can resize the grid in Canva the way how I kind of toggle with it to make smaller boxes of stickers. So if you have any questions, comment below. If you like this video, give it a heart, drop a comment. If you found it helpful, um, if there's any other tips that you want, um, Canva tutorial, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for you. Have a good day.